I'll give it a shot. infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The dagger is yours for the taking. We're ready to head to your camp. You? Excellent. Lead the way. Have a drink. I'm fine. Uh, we start oh, the dragon. Her no, no. An Albert. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here. It. This is awful. Enjoy myself. There's a worm in my brain. Hunters on my trail, and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? By the hells. Sex, my dear. A night of passion. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. All right, but don't take too long. You're not the only tasty morsel around here. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. I want to have a word. Come on, Alfie. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> A night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. You, go. you have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you.
you came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. With the barrels tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. Look where it's I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. A glorious reward for a glorious battle. Go on, have your fun. And do not wipe away a single bead of sweat. It's intoxicating. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Oh, come on. There must be something. Fitting. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. Yeah. Don't tell Roland, but his magic show might be the highlight. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. An adoring crowd, fine wine, I dare say this place is almost civilized. Not at all. But perhaps Leah had a point. What is the point in blades and spells if we don't use them? Though we won't need either soon. As Leroican's apprentice, I'll take care of everything. Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Red people. Blood people. Hmm. You can take that back. It's in the way. Celebrate. I appreciate that you're proud of your victory, but it's just that. Yours, Walbrin, is still missing. 
and there are gnomes trapped in Moonrise Towers. Me drinking beer won't save them. Explosive arrows. Here, take one of my old stock and be gone. Oh, go enjoy your party. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. Geron's lost nose. No! Tara is not any cat. She's a tressum. And given your confusion, I'm guessing you've never met one. They're brilliant creatures. Fine company for any self-respecting wizard. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently, after I was afflicted with my condition. I locked myself in my tower for an entire year inconsolable, wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself, but Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home, besides. She was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. Oh, she'll love you. So long as you don't rub her belly. She hates it when anyone does that. Not an animal lover. Nobody's perfect, I suppose. Nonetheless, your finer qualities are remarkably plentiful. Suffice it to say, I think rather a lot of you. And there aren't many on this plane who I'd give such high praise. One doesn't become the most powerful archmage in Waterdeep and lover to the goddess of magic herself by having low standards. I assure you, when I tell someone they're wonderful, I mean it. And you are wonderful. Right. Understood. You shall hear no more on the subject from me. Consider this budding romance thoroughly nipped. Though I hope our friendship need not come to such an abrupt end. Go! Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself.
Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Shadowheart trails off and glances around at the party. She turns back to you, mildly surprised you're still there. I thought you might have wanted to mingle with the others. No, but I thought you might be keen to get away from me. We haven't always seen eye to eye after all. Besides, I'm sure there's plenty of people who'll be keen to celebrate most thoroughly with you. Maybe you would, but I'm not cruel enough to get your hopes up, in spite of what some might believe. I have no idea what you mean. Now on you go, and happy hunting. What, some advice on how to make me more bearable? All right, if you like. Respect my mission, my beliefs. Keep us focused on finding a cure. If you do that, well, I see no reason why we shouldn't get closer. Now, enough about me. Haven't you seen the way Gale's been stealing looks at you? Go on, see if you want something. Or someone. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. <laughs> oh, the blade doesn't sulk. I was just reflecting on what has happened and not wanting to be Mr. Serious at a celebration. I can say it even more nicely. I'm <clears throat> soberly pondering my state of affairs and not wishing to drag a single happy soul into a state of melancholy. I'm a devil. I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. There are spikes in places there really shouldn't be. <clears throat> but off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. No. Let them have Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with such lovely company. With you, and just lately, I feel like I can remember what it's like to be good. I 
I tried in the beginning. <laughs> Blew up in my face spectacularly. Lesson learned. Never try to befriend a devil, cambion, or imp. Orphans are good for a drink and joke. But you can't turn your back on them. But hey, enough about that. That's history now. I want to think about the future. The one nice thing about being trapped in the inexorable grind of time is you've always got something to look forward to. Gods, that's hot. Don't get me started. I might never stop. You better go enjoy the party before I do something I'll regret. I like you unburnt, after all. Bye, soldier. I like these people. They're joyful. It's... Contagious. Maybe we should forget the city. Live out here, under the stars. It's a bed and a roof for me. But off you go, Master Ranger. Without you. I love you. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. Your body aches pleasingly with the memory of past bruises. Perhaps it is the same for her. Trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there, they were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You've already been. Impressive. You'll make me redundant at this rate. What did you find? I'm certain. The Underdark is dangerous, yes, but the alternative is suicide. Be patient and be thorough. The path will reveal itself in time. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely, 
But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm in his dark justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. I need her to stay focused on her training. The Grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Do not be so impatient to move on as Halsen. As ever, the Githyanki Kresh remains our priority. Need something? Oak Father's blessings to you. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Well... There's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. Of course. Whatever you wish. Perhaps, but we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better.
thank you for agreeing to find Walbrin. It means a great deal to me. Indeed. Well met. Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Yes and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters, I don't consort with them. Even if I might look like one. Don't mind if I do. Wait. These markings. Tirsu's script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. You don't have to trust them, only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze.
Careful, I bite. Blessed be you, pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Eager for battle. Never a dull moment. On my way. Hello? Who's that? Hmm. Ah! A friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside, it is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Your charming companion would call it a crash. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Uh... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliant. Ask me to acquire one of their row, so they can incubate it, and once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away. But surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. I suppose there is a reason I'm asking you to do it. What? Surrender an egg and I will not stand for it. Very well. Here's the money. Now, I expect a speedy delivery. I trust that an early payment has ensured swift action? What? Now, now, no need to get out of humor. Manners are everything. So, where's the egg? Very well. But I'll make note of how much time you waste trawling through baubles. Happy, are we? Very well, then. Always room for more?
approach the fairy in Lathander's grace, may his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. No traps, please. Someone there. There. This will be fun. Be cautious. This place is hungry for blood. Still alive, so that's progress. More for me. Should mind my step. Gods, how are we not there yet? My thieves are killing me. Oh, I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. Steal. Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. Oh, sure, a nest. But it's not my nest. That's up on the roof with the eagles. Eagles are pricks. Oh, it's a good lookout spot for food. Oh, it's not even like the eagles near my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. Alcoholic lizards didn't show up much in your studies of the natural world. <laughs> you! Kill an eagle! <laughs> but if you think you can, then please, please kill the eagles! They're the worst! Thank you. I'll keep an eye on the roof. Rude bastards, those eagles. Deserve a little comeuppance. Thank you. 
That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. So the Gith Yankee aren't fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. What do you mean, too drunk? It's not possible. Oh, hi.
Go time. Spells set them off. Well, so much for peace.
using magic on these things is more trouble than it's worth. These boots have seen everything. Dawnmaster Stockhold. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by Dawnmasters, esteemed members of the clergy. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed, Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Maybe I need more pockets.
worth a look. Intruder! In my nest! This area was meant to be safe! Xavier, get behind Mummy! You would accuse me of a crime in my own home! Outrageous! Ah! It's screeching for help! me if it looks to be a powerful I wonder if it was used on the Gith Yankee nearby.
Easy. Seems like a good moment to talk. Glorious! Feathers bloody everywhere, mate! <sighs> Feels good to be home in my nest. I wish there was something I could give you in return. Oh, tell you what, when I escaped the eagles, I spotted something buried near that ferry dock. Might be worth a look. Guardian of Faith Spell, and a remarkably long lasting one at that.
have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. At the ready. Statues are never a good sign. Oh, wish I had a bag of holding. 